Good day students, welcome to MathGodServe.com. In this clip we're going to be going over how to factor sum and difference of cubes. Alright, we're going to start out by writing down the formula for um, factoring sum and difference of cubes. Okay, so let's write down the formulas first. We're going to start with the formula for the sum of cubes. The formula for the sum of cubes is given by a to the third, let's do the addition case first, a to the third plus b to the third. This is the expanded form, okay, so the factored form for a to the third plus b to the third, the sum of cubes is a plus b. times a square minus a b plus b square. Okay? If you notice, I color coded the sign for a, a particular reason. There is a pattern that can be um, identified by carefully studying the signs of the factored and expanded forms of the sum and difference of cubes, okay? So this form that we have on the left side, that's the expanded form, and on the left side, on the right side, that's the factored form, okay? Now let's take a look at the difference of cubes formula, difference of cubes. Now what if you have a difference of cubes? You have a to the third minus b to the third. With this expanded form, um, what is the factored form going to be? For the difference of cubes, the, ex the factored form is going to be a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square. Okay? Alright, so that these are the formulas for um, factoring the sum and difference of cubes. Now if you take a minute and study the signs of the expanded and factored forms of these two formulas, do you notice a pattern? If you study the signs carefully, um, you might notice the following pattern. This is a good way to remember the pattern with the signs when you're applying these two formulas. And that um, pattern is captured in the following acronym. The acronym is uh, SOAP. Okay, so what has SOAP got to do with factoring sum and difference of cubes? Well, if you study the, the signs, what you notice is that the first sign of the factored form is always the same as the first as the sign um, of the expanded form. Okay, so the first sign is always the same, and then if you compare the second sign of the factored form with the sign of the expanded form, what do you notice? You notice that the sign of the factored form, the second sign is always opposite of the sign of the expanded form. Okay, so let's apply that here. So we have same for the first. The second sign is always going to be opposite of the sign of the expanded form. What do you notice about the last sign? The last sign is always positive. Okay, so that's the significance of the AP in our SOAP acronym. A is always and P positive. Okay, so that's a good way to remember the, the signs when you are applying the sum and difference um, of cubes formula. Now let's take a look at the steps that will guide our problem solving process. When you are uh, making use of these formulas, these are the steps you're going to implement. Step number one, you're going to find uh, A and B using uh, a cube root. 
After finding A and B, you are going to write down the appropriate formula. The formula is basically your guide, okay? So write down the formula. After you write down your formula, step three, you will substitute your A and B into the formula, okay? And then after you carry out your substitution, step number four is you simplify by applying the appropriate property of exponent, okay? All right, let's take a look at the following ex examples. The task is to factor. Problem one, let's say we have x to the third minus 27. Okay, so first things first, is there a greatest common factor that can be extracted from the first and second term? The, sec the answer is no, okay, because we have a one here and um, there's nothing that can be factored out since this doesn't have an x uh, component to it. Now before we get started factoring um, this expression, let's do a real quick review of our cubes, okay? Now what is one cube? One to the third power. One to the third power is one times one times one, which is one. What is um, two cube? Two to the third power is two times two times two, which is eight. Three. Three cubed. Three cubed is three times three times three, which is 27. Four cubed. 4 times 4, 16 times 4, 64. And then 5 cubed is 125. And the list goes on and on. Okay? So it's good to have your um, cubes mastered in order to quickly determine what the A and B values are when you're carrying out step one, the determination of A and B by finding the cube roots. Okay, so step one says find A and B. To not, in order to do that, we ha just have to write down the appropriate formula um, aligned with the problem. So we have a cube minus a cube, so we're going to use the a cubed minus b cubed um, setup. a comes first, b comes second. So from here we can see that a cubed is equal to x to the third and b cubed is equal to 27. Now what is a? To find a, we just take the cube root of both sides of this equation, and we have a is equal to x. For b cubed, we just take the square root of both sides of the equation, and we end up with b is equal to 3. Okay, we have it here. 3 to the third power is 27, so that follows that the cube root of uh, 27 is 3. All right, so we're done with step one, finding A and B. Step number two involves writing down the correct formula. Okay, so let's rewrite the problem. We have x to the third minus 27. Now I'm going to put the formula on top, okay? So we'll, we have A to the third minus B to the third. Since this is a difference of cubes, that's the formula we're going to use, okay? So do you remember SOAP? We're going to use that here. So first quantity is going to be A. The first sign is going to be the same as this. So A minus B, okay, times A squared. The second sign will be opposite of this plus A squared plus, and then we have AB, and then the last sign is always positive plus B squared. Okay, so write down the formula for step two. And then for step three, what are we going to do? We're going to substitute, right? So we're going to substitute the values of A and B into the formula. When we carry out the substitution, we have the following result. A minus B is X minus three, times A squared is X squared, plus AB, you write that as three X, plus B squared, that's 3 square, 3 square is 9. Okay, so let's just put the step there, so plus 3 square. So our final answer 
we now are going to execute step 4 which is to simplify we have x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 3 squared which is 9 ladies and gentlemen this is our final answer for question number one, the complete factorization of x to the third minus 27. All right, let's take a look at another example, slightly more complicated. Question number two, the task is to factor again. Now, what if we had the uh, cubic binomial 8x to the third plus one? All right, we're going to be making use of the same st um, steps that we applied to question number one. So step one involves finding A and B. Okay, so here we have um, A to the third. So this entire first term here will be A to the third, and this will be B to the third. Now, why did I group these two together? If you notice, eight is one of our cubes, okay, that we generated on our list. 2 to the third power is 8, so this two terms combined will be a cube, okay? The product of cubes are cubes. Um, and then uh, 1 is also a cube because 1 to the third power is 1. With that set up, let's clearly show what a and b are. a to the third is 8x cubed, and b to the third is 1, okay? Now, to determine what a and b are, we're going to take the cube root as indicated in the steps. So you take the cube root of both sides. Same here. Okay, so we have a is equal to the cube root of 8 is 2 and the cube root of x to the third is just x. So a is 2x and for the second term, um, B is the cube root of 1, which is just 1. Now we are ready to advance to step 2, which is to write down the formula. So we have 8x to the third plus 1. And um, the scenario we are dealing with here is the sum of cubes situation, because we have a plus here, okay? So we have a to the third plus b to the third equals. Now what is the formula? Let's see if we can remember how to apply SOAP to this particular scenario. Okay, so the first quantity we'll have is going to be A plus B. Remember for SOAP the first sign is always the same as the sign of the expanded form. And then we have A square, the second sign is going to be opposite. Since we have a plus here, it's going to be minus AB. And the last sign is always positive, plus B squared. Okay, so we're done with step two, which is to write down the formula. And then now step three, we're just going to substitute, okay? So we have um, A plus B, which is 2X plus 1, times A squared. A squared is... 2x raised to the second power minus ab which is 2x times 1 if you multiply 2x by times 1 uh, you just end up with 2x since 1 is the multiplicative identity and then plus b square 1 square is just 1 okay so we're done applying step 3 which is the substitution step now the final step is just to simplify where applicable, okay? So um, our answer is going to be 2x plus 1. This quantity is completely simplified. 2x square. Now when you are squaring this, you're going to apply the power of a product property of exponents, which requires that you apply the power to both factors that's being exponentiated, okay? So when you raise 2x, 2 times x to the second power, you end up with 4x squared. Notice that you are squaring both the 2 and the x, not one or the other. Okay, so we have 4x squared minus 2x plus 1, and that's the factored form of 8x cubed plus 1. 
We thank you so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your study of factorization of polynomials of higher degree, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions or comments about what we just covered in this clip or any algebra concepts in general, just place it in the comment section below and we will be more than glad to support you. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other tutorials such as this. We update math tutorials on a weekly basis, so if you want to get notifications of our latest updates, you will, might want to subscribe to our channel. More tutorials, tips and resources can be found on mathgotserve.com. Go ahead and check it out. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.